Well, hello folks. This is Randy with Celebrick Farms and we are moving turkeys today. They are in there. We're in this previous section here and I'm leaving them where they are for a long time because I want them to lay down a lot of manure because we're going to turn this old horse arena into pasture and they are just loving some grass out here. Just listen to them. So many of you may rightly be saying, oh my gosh, what are you going to do? How are you going to get them back in? And unfortunately I won't be able to film that, but oh, look at them going after the grasshoppers. They are master grasshopper eaters. Look at them. They got into a mess of them. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Turkeys are actually pretty easy to uh, get back into their pen. They, uh, they're a little more scaredy cats than chickens are, but you may as well let them have their fun while they're out here, right? Right, Jack? So we're going to set up their new place. It's got a Siskovich tractor that we have a feeder in as well as a uh, just some place for him to get away out of the elements. And then of course the uh, turkey tractor that I built here. We got those, the turkey tank. Got that set up out here. Sorry if it's a little windy, you can't hear. But uh, probably going to add a couple more roosts to it. Got some, some uh, extra wood and they love sitting underneath that. I don't know if you can see that pile of manure right there. That's where they sleep. These guys are a little younger. They uh, start roosting a little younger than other batches I've had. I don't know. I don't know why, but for one thing or another, I love raising turkeys. They're a lot of fun. Highly recommend it. They are far more profitable than chickens, and you only got to do them once a year. So, anyway, there's the update. Say goodbye, Jack. Turkeys are the OG grasshopper killers. I am too. You got one? Go get them, boys and ladies. You notice there are two little uh, bourbon reds in there. Those are pets. We're going to keep them. Those are, were my birthday present. Everyone knows I like turkeys that much. Get them. Get them. Get them. There you got them. Nice. All right, if we said that they're easy to get in, we may as well video it to see if we're, if we're actually being truthful or not. Key is to go slow. Jack, you're going too fast, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Distracted by grasshoppers. That's hard, I know. So what we have here is the Siskovich tractor. We put the tractor right smack dab in the middle. Oh, another, another grasshopper battle here. Put the tractor in the middle and the... Premier one fence on the side, and then the other side of the fence is open. And then we can just slowly work around them. I'm gonna give the stragglers a little kick. Not really, but you know, figuratively. And then we get them in like so. Jack, you wanna grab that middle post right there? It's the one right next to me. And then we grab that in neat and orderly fashion. And then we put this right here. And there we go. No drama. So, I said it. It actually is true. You have video evidence. And now we're going to fill up the feeders. Uh, I got... Believe it or not, 29 turkeys right there, and that five gallon bucket of water, these two uh, five foot feeders, and a third, I think, seven foot feeder in there. That'll keep them for two days, so it's kind of nice. Right, Jack? Yep. And the cows even are impressed. Look at them. Those aren't our cows. Not our cows, but they're still impressed. Yes. All right. All right, everyone, thanks for the uh, bearing with us on the turkey update. We'll check you later. See ya! Nice. Yeah. That was lame. That was lame. Bam! Bam!